I was injured in 2007. I suffered a spinal cord injury. My husband and I were on vacation in Mexico and um, we were riding a quad on the beach and the tide had went way out and we hit a sandbar and the quad flipped. Well, what happened to me? I had a, an airplane accident three years ago. I'm a commercial pilot. Okay, T6 is a high brake. It's basically from here up. So basically, I was just arms and a head. The doctors told me that I had a complete injury in my spine and that I wasn't going to walk again. I had no movement or feeling from my bra strap level down, and I was told right away by doctors there, oh, she'll never walk again. They, they told my parents that before they even got to see me, and, um, and my husband, so it's pretty traumatic. The medicines that they give me, even though they stop my spasms, they dissolve my muscle. So it's kind of works against you. You know, I want to walk again, but my muscle is being ate by the medicines that they're giving me. I fractured my T12, T, T11, T12, L1, and L2. I always said, I'm not a watcher, I'm a doer. You know, I, I go do things who are very active, and, and I didn't want this one to accept this injury. But I worked my hardest for two months inpatient, and then I went to outpatient therapy for six months after that and I just worked really hard. I'm, I was always athletic and I always continued to be strong and work hard. From my waist down, I had nothing, no, no sensibility, no movement, no control of nothing. And, well, I was uh, an Asia A, I think. That is a complete paraplegic person. I just knew I couldn't live like this. I couldn't live dragging myself from one side of the bed to another. I couldn't live like that. They told me, you have to create in your mind that, that you're not going to walk again and you have to get used to the wheelchair. There are so many people that are dying and are, have a decreased quality of life that could be helped. The promise is there, and it's not just me saying that, it's the whole scientific community. There are no ethical or moral arguments against using adult stem cells since nobody is harmed in the, in the isolation or in anywhere in the process. But we're doing a lot of work with spinal cord injury so far, uh, over 50 patients have been treated. If it's within one year of injury, 100% of the people who have been treated have had restoration of neurological function. Within about three months, I was down there. I, I, I signed up right away, and but of course we researched, because it's very important to feel safe and all that stuff. So we did a lot of research, and we felt comfortable. In that time, I was uh, talking with uh, my physiotherapist there in Costa Rica, and she told me about the stem cell treatment. Um, well, I decided to, to do it. Within two months of getting the therapy, I had my whole core back. Like my, I mean, my heart, I could make my abs hard again. All the way to here, my whole abs, back, hip flexors, but we're working really good, and my obliques, and my booty. And my first treatment was in November 2008. The change that I had was in my neuropathic pains, that it passed from 10 to 3, like in uh, maybe in two weeks. And then I come across a lady's blog that's been down here, Trish. And uh, I called her a couple times, and she said she thought the same way. And uh, she's actually walking with braces at her knees from her stem cells. And within three and a half months of getting my, treat, my second treatment, I'm now, my knees were starting to lock. I got half braces now below my knees, so that where it's not locking my knees. And now for the first time in 
January, at the very end of January, I started walking with the walker. It's really slow. Since my stem cells, I guess the best way I, I can do is just show you. And uh, reality's reality. I had my fourth treatment in November last year. And in that time, in one year, I recovered my right leg. Um, I stopped using uh, my crutches and I was using a cane. Uh, I'm driving a manual transmission car. I compete in 4x4 races. I just passed last year my physical, and the pilot, the commercial pilot physical, and I started to fly again. I'm just so blessed that I, that I was put in contact with you guys and it's very life-changing. I know when I lifted myself up there, I give myself some Charlie horses. I do it every time. But that, do you see how I lifted myself up? Yeah. That's reality. This is not uh, like a miracle cure, but I think for us, the, the patients and the, our parents and all the relatives, it is a, cure, a miracle cure.